Can you believe that I got these cabinets for free off Facebook Marketplace and I wanted to transform them into a high-end looking media console using just chalk paint, wax, and make them flipping gorgeous. So one of the reasons I'm most excited about this furniture flip is there's no sanding involved. We are going to start putting on the base layer using Rust-Oleum chalk paint. So this is paint that just will adhere right to the furniture. We don't have to sand it. We don't have to do anything besides clean it to prep the surface. I am gonna roll this stuff on and then we're gonna create the wood look using our wax and a certain type of brush. So let's get started. After cleaning the pieces really well, I applied the Rust-Oleum gray chalk paint. Now, the good thing about this chalk paint is I didn't have to sand the surface. Chalk paint can go directly on top of it. And since this is going to serve as my base layer, I didn't feel the need to do an additional primer. On other pieces where maybe you were just going to leave it painted, I would suggest doing a primer, but in this case, the chalk paint was our primer. After I rolled it all on, I went through the little crevices just with a foam brush and touched up all those little areas before I applied the wax. So we are getting to ready to add on the wood look. In order to do that, I'm gonna be using three things. I am using an antiquing wax, a brush, and these little wood, wood um, grain tools. So here's how we're gonna do it. This is one of the outside of my cabinets. So we are going to take the wax and paint it on with the brush in one direction because we want it to mimic a wood grain. Okay, see that there? Then, we are going to take this little wood grain tool and we are going to pull it and rock it, pull it and rock it, pull it and rock it to give a wood look. Okay, now. The thing is, I don't want too much of the gray showing through. So I'm going to go back over it with the brush. Those were a little big, a little too much of the grain. So when you tilt it, it brings back more of that grain look, as you can see. So now I'm going to let that wax harden up for a minute. Then I'm going to come back and do the same thing. Paint it on here, like this. Wood tool it. Again, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute because it's just too much gray showing through. I don't want there to be obvious paint coming through because we're trying to give it, you know, a very natural wood look. Now, those are some pretty big veins, if you will. So again, I'm gonna come back over because I don't want there being too much gray showing through. I'm just gonna lightly go back over it with my wax. I didn't even put any more wax on the brush. I just, I'm using kind of the residue that's left over because I do want it to still show through. So giving that wood grain out too much. So really just step and repeat this whole thing. For the single long piece that goes on top of the two cabinets, I repeated the same process. Here's a closer up look of the wood grain tool and then going over it with the brush. Again, I found that there was plenty of wax left over on my brush from painting. So I just lightly blended it in. After I let the wax dry, I then decided to seal the piece with a polyurethane. So you can apply a poly on top of a wax and this is going to help seal the piece and prevent the wax from scratching. I didn't do that on a previous piece and it did scratch quite easily. I would recommend two coats for that. 
And here is the final piece. And it is flipping gorgeous in my opinion. They were free cabinets that someone was going to throw away. And we totally transformed it into a high-end looking piece that would have cost me about $3,000 if I was to purchase it new. If you're wanting to refinish furniture but don't know where to start, download my free furniture flipping blueprint in the show notes. Thank you for watching.